here. Yeah. Hey, right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, y'all, we are headed down to a few days of adventuring and fishing down in beautiful Boca Grande, Florida. I am a total Guggen at saltwater fishing. I've done it just a handful of times, so it's going to be a fun adventure. No matter what, I'm going to take you along with me. We're going to go after grouper, snook, uh, shark, tarpon, just whatever. have no idea what that holds in store for us, but I'm excited for a few days off of my normal job to get to go and do some exploring within the fishing world. So come along with me. We going fishing, baby. Mm -hmm. Good morning, you guys. It is uh, about 5 a.m. here in uh, Boca Grande, Florida. This is day two of the trip. Day one of the trip, we went fishing with a guide for tarpon and snook, and just to respect him and his business, I didn't do any filming. I just had a blast, and uh, I caught my personal best snook, which was about 41 inches down here, and apparently that's huge for a snook. I've never really caught him. I've, I've fished for him one other time while I was down here, and uh, the one I caught yesterday was gigantic. So we did film a release video of that and I'm gonna show that to you guys now. Got, what you got there? 40 inch snook, 40 something. Let me see it, pick it up one more time. Oh yeah, dog. <laughs> they smell like musky, like for real. That's what they are, they're just saltwater musky. Kinda like, Kinda has a head on it. It's like sight casting for muskies in Tennessee. That dolphin will try to eat that size one? Oh yeah. Let her go when she's ready or no? Huh? You want to walk her to the other side? Take her up to that dock. Like if you walk her over and leave her underneath that dock, there's structure there. Like pull her over there. Make sure she's swimming. That fish was just, for a snook, gigantic. The dolphins were trying to chase it uh, while I was fighting it. It tried to pull me into this dock and break off uh, 80 pound fluorocarbon because that happened to Chad right before that. And uh, we got that one in, that was nuts. It ate a big giant mullet, uh, kind of like the size we use or skipjack we use for striped bass. And uh, we saw it swimming along the bank basically and chucked it out in front of it and he obliterated it. So uh, now today we're going to be, uh, well actually I'm gonna show you one other thing first. Here's some tarpon. Um, coming up to air to get air and gulp air and going in a circle i have no idea what they're doing but uh, it's basically spawning season for tarpon down here and uh, there's tens of thousands of them everywhere and it's wild so here's here's a look at that i'm telling you already like we slipped out our first cast like the first cast of the and all those fish you just saw were 100 plus pounds so it's just insane out here and i hope we're going to do some more tarpon filming uh, tomorrow Thursday but today now we're gonna go offshore for grouper 
and uh, all different kinds of snapper grouper, all that stuff, about 100 feet of water. We're gonna run 40 miles offshore. I've never done this before, so this is all new for me. And uh, we're gonna catch some really good eating fish. And then uh, uh, we may catch some sharks out there. It just depends. We're gonna bring the Goliath grouper rod, shark rod, and uh, all the carcasses we uh, have left over after we catch these uh, grouper and snapper, we're gonna use for Goliath grouper bait tomorrow morning. And uh, man, I'm excited for all of it. Stay tuned. We got Chad here from Tennessee and our buddy Matt with the boat down here. And we're gonna go 40 miles offshore, baby. Catch some big old fish. Woo! Let's go. In the cardinal rule here of eating before 11 o'clock, Definitely using the bucket 40 miles offshore. We going fishing, baby! Ready to go fishing, Chad? Picking up our pinfish traps we set out last night. They're basically just saltwater bluegill and everything eats them. Right over it. We grabbed that bucket out of the center. We loaded with bait, I'd say. It's just one. One trap. One. Where do you want me to go? Bucket. There you go. Man, it smells like that chum. Stuck down in there. <laughs> Bait, baby! Uh, when I bought them fish, I just, they're all small. Season. Snapper candy. Uh, snapper candy! Which snapper season's open? Uh, you have makes and stuff. Isn't red snapper open too? Yeah, for captains. Let's we'll see what we got round two. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, loaded. <laughs> loaded. There's like $80 worth of bait in a shop. You want water in there? Pinfish. Look at all that. Goodness. Yeah, there's some good ones in there too.
Well, guys, we're at 100 miles. Now, how many miles are we offshore? 40. 40 miles offshore and 115 feet of water. We've caught a few fish. I was seasick for a little while, so did not have a camera going. But we are putting down, what is this? A lang. A lang? Uh, what is it called? That. Something. Something. And we're dropping it down on this reel. See what will eat it. This has got 400 pound mono as the main, well, the top shot. And then we got 200 pound hollow core behind it. So if we hook a giant shark or a group or goliath group, or either the rod's going in the water or the fish is coming to the top. Well, as soon as I drop down, I'm on. It's small, whatever it is. Get on up here. Do we have another bait fish coming up? Is that a bait fish? Yep. In the live well he goes. What are those called? Pumta. 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 Chad's got some that looks a little more sizable. A little more. We need a screamer. Or another screamer. I really want that back rod to go down. There's something. Do I have something here? Yeah. You got a real one? Yeah. That was just on a, a headpiece. Come here. Gosh. These suckers bite. Oh, this is a good one. Feels like it. Oh, he's digging. He's digging. Gosh. Get up here. I still don't have my sea legs. I'm trying not to fall in the water. Another keeper. Another keeper. The last one. That was just on the head. Like a keeper. Got him. What do we got? Oh, another one. Got somebody's line in it. Yeah, line. Yellow, that's you. Oh. Yeah, Whoops. Well. Look at that. Right here. That's a pretty fish. Now, what kind of grouper is that? Red grouper. Red grouper. Damn, that sucker fought. Man, what kind of mess we got going here? Probably just cut that hook. Uh, turn off your troll motor. Well, if I got it out of the troll motor, we're good. Don't worry about it. Push anchor. I'm right under you, so if you get it out. Mother keeper. Well, I mean, I'm not a brand new. Put our limit in the boat. Here, let's uh, let me get a like a hold it up. See that fish? Well, he's a knife. That's a beautiful fish. Look at the coloration on it. 
And we got one other good one too. Yeah, that was the first one I caught. Woo! Nice. That's some meat. <laughs> that meat, meat, boys. Some sandwiches right there. Yes, sir. Here's what we're using. What is this? Like a sardine or something? It looks like a little skipjack. Yeah, frozen sardine. Frozen sardine, and I'm gonna hook them through the eyeball. And then I'm just gonna put a little piece of squid on here too for a little razzle dazzle. And then it's just on a Carolina rig. This is a Shimano Sargosa spinning reel with some kind of saltwater spinning rod. And a Carolina rigged, and we're just dropping it down over this ledge way out here, middle of nowhere. I'm finally able to talk and not feel like I'm gonna throw up. Nice, look at the draft, it's loaded. Tons of fish down there. Tons of fish. 100 and something feet, you gotta go way down. All right, I'm at the bottom now. I'm just gonna reel it up, one crank, and there we go. Literally just like drifting for catfish. Chat on. He's getting dinked to death. Oh, oh yeah. Hook set, baby. Look, I'm getting hit right here. A little better. I got one on here too. Watch this. Double. Little one. Oh. Baby, baby, baby. What the heck? Another bait fish. You gonna be grouper bait. throw her back down there look i already got one on right as it got to the bottom this one's a little one again where at one o'clock oh yeah look at that giant sea turtle out there i don't know if the camera can pick that up but that's huge loggerhead Oh, well, I took my bait. Do I have something else here? Nope. I do, actually. Yes, I do have a fish. What is he? What the heck is he? He's little, whatever he is. I think it's a saltwater bluegill. Basically. What is this? Rain snapper. Rain snapper. We keeping these or chucking them? Oh, toss that one. Oh. Well, Chad just lost a good one. Chad had a good one. Still might be hungry. Well, I just caught a big red snapper, and now I don't know what Chad has on, but it's something. After I've puked in the water eight times. <laughs> it's good luck. Just chumming it up. Let me tell you, I was chumming. It was bad. Red snapper. Mm -hmm. That's a red. Another red snapper? Yep. No, red grouper. Oh, keeper. Oh, keeper. I handed away a keeper. Away a keeper. I would just like to say of all the keepers, they've all been on the rod I put down. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Get it, get the I couldn't even get past that. Lost him. You got him? Lost him. You lost him? I lost him. Playing around. Put that one, put that up front in the drop over. So we push it. You got one? What you got? Is it a keeper? No. No? I don't think so. As soon as you dropped it down, it was on. Definitely not a screamer like that last one. Definitely not a screamer. 
What do we got here, Mr. Chad? I'm just trying not to puke everywhere again. I'm giving you a little fight. Grouper. Right, grouper. Right, grouper. Keep the bait again. So a piece of cut bait with a piece of squid on it. That seems to be the ticket. Look at the colors on that guy. The blue. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Squirrel. You gonna be bait, buddy? He's squid. Here we go. Think I should go with the head or a chunk? Oh, he just dropped the head down. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's decent. This one feels a little better. We may have a keeper. Oh, we got a keeper. That looks keeperish. Is it the right species? Water growing and then we got him. Oh, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. What we got. Let's see what we got here. They fight so dang hard. Nope, baby. Saltwater fish built different. Oh, no, close. It was close. He's going to be like, no, let's keep her all day. Keep her all day? Keep her all day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See how many fish I've had on this head so far? A bunch. 21. 22. 22. Keep her. Black or white or whatever color it is. Okay. We'll drop her back down. We'll drop her back down. Yeah, I'm going for keeper number three on the same bait. <laughs> In the same hole. How close are we to our limit on those? Uh, I think we're about two more. Two more? That's four. That's four. That's two. That one? Okay. Well, I'm dropping them down a buffet. Squirrel head. Whoop. They were definitely out here at the last hole. Is everybody getting them on? I got it on the head. I got it on the head and then a squid piece. And then a chunk and a squid piece. Oh, There's a beast. There it is. That's a good one. Yeah. We got two of the rods over here. Let's see if this one gets. That's a good one, Chad. That's a keeper, baby. We got a limber rod. That's a better one. Ay, ay. <laughs> He's biting. Reeling in that dinner. Might be bigger than the first one. Is it a red grouper? Big red grouper. Nice. Fire truck. Oh, big one. Oh, big one. <laughs> This spot is paying off. There we go. Look at the Look teeth at the on chunks. that sucker. How many chunks he's got in there? Oh! <laughs> Somebody's been feeding him. <laughs> Wonder who. Let's Grupa. hold that fish up. Two chunks at least. Grupa, Grupa. Beautiful. Yeah, that's half. That's oh, yeah. inch grouper right there. Oh, all day. Yeah. All day. Right here. Did I lose them? Yep. I lost them. Is that a good one, Chad, or are you going to let a baby mess you up again? 
baby. Baby? Baby. He may be partial keeper. <laughs> That's what broke you off? You let I him break you off? I didn't get broke off. This is somebody else's. Somebody else is using chunks? <laughs> That's our hooks. Because that was yours from earlier. You went down in the hole and broke you off. What's he keeper? Manny. You want a chunk back? You have some bait options again. He must have rocked up to break me off on that one. Yeah. All right, we're on <laughs> on the catfish rod. We on the catfish rod, baby. This has got some weight. Yeah. <laughs> Big cat fever goes to the ocean. I have this drag locked all the way down too on this. This has got to be decent. This was on that. Uh, that one bait I just put out, yeah. The whole head? Yeah. I mean, he's pulling pretty hard. No, that's a big fish. I can see him. I've got the drag lock. That's another big one, dude. Big one. Oh, he's, he's pulling. Look like how far down you can see him. Yeah. See, it might be a snapper. It's awfully white. Man, these suckers fight. Gosh. <laughs> Get up here. Yep, big red grouper. Keeper? Limit. Oh, yeah. Limit, <laughs> baby. Truck. Limit it out today. We're Look not catching any one. grouper. Oh, oh, that's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. In the Those boat. In the boat. Our limit. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, here's this big red grouper I just caught. That's a hoss. Man, they fight. He's gonna taste delicious later too. Big old keeper, baby. Nice fish. Yep. I guess it's a nice fish. I don't know anything about this stuff, but they said it's a good one, so I trust him. That's a good one. Fire truck. Alrighty. In the cooler. This best part right here. Cheat meat. Cheat meat. Everybody likes some cheeks. That's how you gill one. You gotta do this, they bleed out. Good fish. Good fish. Awesome. Do we have one here? Do we have one? Should I reel down on it? There he goes. There he goes. Got his butt. What are you gonna do? You gonna pull us down? What are you gonna do? You're too small. Come on. I'm gonna fight you up in the holder. All right. Come here. I'm surprised we haven't got visited by the tax collector yet. Not nothing. Now we will. That's okay. We got that reel up there for him. If he wants to show up. What we got here? What we got here? The tax man, guys, if you're not familiar with saltwater fishing, is a shark or a glide ripper. Barracuda. Anything just big that'll eat our junk. Barracuda. Another. There's a keeper that eats a little big. Yeah. We move in spots now because we've limited out on, what were those? Red grouper. Red grouper. Red grouper. We've got six big ones. Now we're trying to go catch. Gags. Gag grouper. Gag grouper. Aren't there some kind of gag grouper snapper out here too we're trying to catch? Mangroves and lanes, but we want a gag. Yeah, yeah, we're not close to the full moon, so so they ain't biting. Gag grouper. Gag grouper's the target. Everything else is fine. Not 
have sea legs yet. We back out here fishing at the final uh, uh, words. Do I get a hit right there? Yeah. Oh, he put it down. Come on, take it down. Take it down. Take it down. I ain't doing nothing with you until you bend it over. Well, we're at the final spot now. It's a little ridge out here in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. And uh, we've already caught two keeper red grouper that uh, we can't keep because we're already limited out on those. And we're trying to catch some other grouper uh, so that we can continue loading uh, this cooler up for food later. And I'm not throwing up anymore right now, so that's good. Dropping her down on the fancy reel, the Speedmaster. Somebody had something on. Oh, he got robbed, he got robbed, he got robbed. Oh, oh, missed him. Whifferoni. Whifferoni. Oh, had me excited. I heard drag. Let's see, one gonna go down there? One gonna go down there? Or up there? Or over here? Coming. And these are, pi are the pinfish we caught earlier in that trap. Baby pins. Yep. Let's see if anything's fun to come up. Last time we emptied bait out here, it was Goliath and AJ City. Really? They all came up to the top. Right here? Yeah. Nice. I mean, not this spot, this spot about a mile away. Yeah. But if they're down there, you see them just swim up? Oh yeah, they, they will the come right out. up to the top. Really? You can see the marks. They're going down. Interesting. We're up relatively shallow for the day now at 95 feet. Bring a catfish from into the ocean and he's going to put out more rods than he should. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I think it's working out. At least for the cooler purposes. The cooler purposes so far so good. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Baby. Baby something. Uh, Just skiing her up. Uh, Is he bait though? Quit man. One over there. Tiny, tiny red grouper. I don't even tell him that one. That's bad. Like for my profile. <laughs> Prisons right there. Here, here's the D yeah. hookers for your giant. That's a beautiful fish. That's a so baby. Here, fishy, fishy. Yeah. I'm just releasing you. You're not going to get eaten. Rip. All right. I'm putting me a live pinfish on. We're going to hook them up bluegill style like we would be flathead fishing. See you later. Get eaten. Well, it got a little stormy. So we're heading back to the launch. I'm glad they have Googans down here too. It's always the pontoons. Always the pontoons. Always the pontoons. Every time, always the pontoon. Uh, remember how we said uh, it's always the pontoon Googans? Well, when they were pulling out, did not have a plug in and like it's still pouring water out up there <laughs> i just like talking smack about pontoons i don't know why but 
it definitely holds true down here. We're now back on dry land, thank God, and I'm not gonna puke anymore today. So we're gonna go clean all these uh, red grouper and the other assortment of fish we caught and then cook them. Old Faithful made a hell of a grouper ride today. Just going catfishing in the ocean. Not a bad little haul we got right here. Some pretty big old red grouper. There's about $600 of fish laying there. <laughs> and uh, the no fun part about saltwater fishing is you gotta wash everything every time or all your stuff breaks. I think it did pretty well as a grouper rod. It's gonna be tasty. Grouper. What is this fish called? Porgy. Porgy? Blue striped porgy. And we're just filleting them. You cut the cheek meat out of these guys? Not on these. Not big enough? Nope. That bubba blade is sharp as crap. Yep. The man's a professional. Just run along that backbone basically like you would any other fish. Yep. Play. Goliath Sorry, bait. It's clean. <laughs> He's cutting the cheek meat out like you would for walleye. Got a little paring knife to do it. That's some beautiful meat. fish nugget so big one goliath grouper bait baby goliath time oh yeah look at that piece of meat that sucker fought sixty dollar fillet right there yeah. more than that all right mark grab the easily As fishing in Florida sometimes goes, we had some nasty weather roll up on us on Thursday, the day we wanted the Goliath grouper fish, and it just made it really, really difficult to even catch bait out on the beach or even back in the uh, intercoastal system. So we Goliath grouper fished with those carcasses on the phosphate docks in Boca Grande for about an hour or two, didn't have any hits, and uh, we tried to go find live mullet, but we couldn't really go out on the beach, and uh, it was just, it wasn't panning out. So, we're back in East Tennessee now, and uh, it is the height of the spawn here for catfish and everything, so fishing for that's gonna be a little tough, but as you saw in the video before this one on the channel, if you haven't watched it yet, I suggest you go watch it, uh, you can still catch some big old catfish. Brian landed a 50 plus pound flathead catfish during the middle of the spawn, which in general is an awesome achievement, and especially during the most difficult time to catch catfish. So, that was the end of the Florida trip. We caught snook and fished for tarpon on day one. We did, um, what we do on day two? We did grouper, which you just saw on day two and um day three we tried to do goliath it just didn't pan out and i had to fly back home to come back to work on uh the next day so good little break excited to get back here in east tennessee and chase these big old catfish stripers and musky and i uh, will catch you on the next episode of top Knox fishing